Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are starting off with fixing my nail. And then we're using Talia's plate from Clear Jelly Stamper. I'm so excited. She is so amazing. I will link her channel below, but I guarantee you already know that channel. So we're fixing the nail here. It took Madam Glam Natural Fiber. Then we're taking Talia's plate. I'm using IBD, some, uh, what are they called? Leaves, some butterflies. I'm obsessed. So we're taking IBD gel and I wanted a thicker gel for this because I thought it would adhere the butterflies and the leaves a little bit better. I ended up having to bend them. And the reason is because obviously your nails are arched and you need to bend it so it will like embed correctly. So once I put that on, if you find that they're sticking up still when you go to cure, go ahead and use saran wrap. Yes, saran wrap and add that to the top and cure. But I'm gonna add some glitter. I'm taking that Madame Glam base again and I'm just applying a thin coat because I didn't want to add bulk because glitter can add bulk really quickly. I should have used a fluffy brush almost throughout this whole thing, I know. It's fine, we get there in the end. So I'm gonna take some IBD clear gel and I've been really enjoying this gel. I don't even think the review video is up yet because I'm trying to use it a bunch before I kind of give my review. But so far I really like it, I'm not gonna lie. Like I didn't have to even really shape these nails when I was done, yeah. Okay, anyway, so we are adding that slip layer and then we are going to build out that apex with grabbing a little bit more, pushing it towards the back. That slip layer is going to glide, going to guide that blob where it needs to go. So back to Talia. So Talia is a girl boss. She is so kind and she shares so many tips with her YouTube channel, Instagram. Seriously, she is so amazing. I absolutely love her content. I actually got into gel nails because of her. I was a um, Etsy seller for planner stickers and doing YouTube on this channel. And I found her through the planner community and then brought me into the nails, but I've been doing nails for, gosh, uh, 11 years now. Like I've been doing regular gel, not this gel, obviously. So back to where we are. So I'm taking talk dirt, and this is going to be the nail that I do the pumpkins on. I didn't know what I wanted to do with this plate because <laughs> my ideas went like a million miles a minute. Like I'm like, oh, I wanna do this, oh, I wanna do that. Well, it's that's, I had to narrow it down, okay? And pumpkins, why not? I've only done like seven pumpkin tutorials this year. It's fine. So I probably should have done this in two thinner coats, not because it didn't cure, but because I'm just fussing with it. Just do thinner coats and don't be like me, okay? So taking some polishes and we are going to build out these pumpkins. And I show all the polishes, I believe. And I loved how this one actually came out with the red and the orange. I just really liked it. So I really wanted to add something a little bit extra and not just straight orange. And it just, it just spoke to me, okay? So yeah, building out these pumpkins all from Clear Jelly Stamper, I showed you the colors. I didn't find leaves that I wanted, so I just went ahead and, you know, drew my own in. We're getting adventurous here. Adding some swirls, if you know Talia, you know she loves her swirls. So this is a nod to Talia and her plate and swirls, because like I said, she loves her swirls and why not? <laughs> I know I should have used a fluffy brush here. I get it. I know. It's fine. We get there. Just if you be persistent enough and keep going and just make your life even more difficult instead of just, you know, getting the fluffy brush out, you know, it would be better. So I added, I think, one leaf and, yeah, one leaf and one butterfly to this nail to add just a little bit of that fall in this nail not with just that glitter we are going to embed this glitter like we did that pointer finger so i'm going to do that slip layer then take what i call my blob and the slip layer guides where that blob goes and then we kind of just walk it down the nail Change. 
and not us. And we just chillin', kickin' it, kiss by the sun. Could be soaked to the skin in the mall soon. I know she got the good vibes when seasons change, but when. Y'all, I make this nail way too hard for myself. Okay, don't do this. Take your talk dirt, walk it down the nail a little bit like you're doing an ombre, and then come in with some clear. I thought about doing like a little swirl going up, but then I end up putting glitter all over it. It was gonna be like a glitter fade, but I didn't want it to be full uh, talk dirt to me. So I just made it harder than it's supposed to be. So do this step first fade it out a little bit of clear on top and then add your glitter to fade it in because there there's no point to this so fun fact all right well thank you guys so much for watching definitely go check out talia's channel thank you guys so much go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one bye bye Take it in.